reason in particular I wanted to, to do a solo project. Didn't really get a chance to film that much more than any other year. It's pretty much the same I've always done, but the main difference between this and past seasons is that instead of you know spreading the footage that I get throughout the whole season with a couple of different film companies, I was able to compile it all together into one segment and it made you know that five, six trips throughout the year really worthwhile. Been shooting with Wallace for quite a while and thought it'd be cool to try something different and I think it's a cool concept to just have a $2.99 segment, one skier and one filmer, we're kind of both on the same page on what we do and our goal was to get the best shots possible. So we got a Red Epic and we <laughs> went and we got the best shots possible. Actually we didn't, we, did, we had some other cameras and it was, uh, it was okay, but back to where we were, back to where we are going, it's cool. It's not a movie, it's not a documentary, you know, not trying to, to tell a story about anything. What we really wanted to do with the project was just solely put together the best skiing I could do with the best filming Kyle could do, edit it all together and give people something fun, easy, quick and, and awesome to watch hopefully. So. Be done in a Dude, second. I don't want to shoot any more interviews. Just wait. Interviews are stupid. Just wait. There's like some noise. Just wait. Just what's there. what's there to tell? What's there to talk about? There's a dude skiing. There was snow, or there wasn't snow. It rained, or the snow. I mean, dude, there's nothing to talk about. People get it, dude. You didn't get the rail because the cops came, dude. I'm not talking about it. It's stupid. Nobody cares. Everyone has to deal with it. Nobody wants to hear about it. It's a film segment. It's short, it's sweet, they're skiing, it's not talking, and you're gonna like it.